hey guys it's deviana and welcome back to my channel thank you for tuning in if you're new and i hope that you learned something and i hope that god speaks to you through this message i hope you take something from it and yeah like i hope you come back period welcome to our godly family right here okay <laughs> but no guys let's get right into this next to it today i got a message from god that i've been slacking and that i need to start being consistent on this channel i've been so busy like so so busy with everything else that i haven't made time for this channel in like the past two weeks or so and i felt so bad because that is not okay like i need to feed the people you know i need to regardless of how many people are subscribed to me i still need to feed the ones who actually do view because that's what y'all deserve from me so i want to apologize i'm back you know i'm better i'm at work right now but i'm back um i have the same job but i don't work anymore at the the one i was at when i had it on a uniform so um at the time i had two jobs and god had to remove one but he decided to keep this one so um that's why you see me uh dressed in and fitted professionally because i work in a professional environment but that's not the point guys i have been spiritually attacked so much and i'm not sure how many of y'all have been experiencing this too because i just know i'm not the only one like the devil has been really trying to take me out of this space i'm in out of out of my abundance like god has been blessing me back to back to back to back to back like I don't know what season I walked in. I guess this is my reaping season because, honey, I've been just reaping such beautiful things. God has been removing. He's been stripping things from me. And I'm not sure if any of you guys are getting stripped in this season as well as he's bringing things to you. He's also removing things. And I'm here to tell you that it is okay. Like, let God do it. Whatever he's trying to remove, let him remove it, you know. I had kind of felt really sad when I had to let go of my other job because even though I was so busy and I was so tired working two jobs full time, a college student, working out in the mornings, just all type of stuff, you know, then we got all this schoolwork building up and just so much going on, right? Even though I had all that going on, I really felt bad about letting it go. So when he started removing things, I was like, dang, because I started to develop relationships there. And that's what the enemy wants to happen. He wants to put you in a position where you have to choose other things over God and make you feel so bad when you don't choose those other things that it overwhelms you or you let that sadness or that overwhelmness or that that feeling bad overtake you and take the rug from under you and just pull you into this whole downward spiral because of the feelings that you feel that's not even your feelings to feel it's not because we feel it it's because once you open like a little inch of of doubt or insecurity once you open like a little inch of any doubt in god or any doubt in his plan or whatever he's gonna creep in and plant all these other feelings inside of you and then it's gonna make you feel like you doing something wrong like you are tripping like something wrong with you like you off your a game you're not you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing and you just you messing up and that's what he wants you to think so that you do the opposite of what God says because you already you doubt in it. You, you doubt in it, you fear in it, and you think that it's you making this bad decision and you questioning why. Why am I making this decision? And you need to remember that God told you to. It's not necessarily about what you wanted or it's not necessarily about you doing something wrong. It's really just about god talking to you god telling you that this is not the place for you anymore and him removing it for you him him clearing out room for you for you to remove it and not feel any aftermath or feel shaken up about it it's only when you start to question it when you start to fear it when you start to be double-minded about it is when the enemy can come in and make you feel like god didn't say that to you and that 
you're making the decision and that you're making the wrong decision and that you don't know what you're doing. I've experienced a lot of that, so that's how I know that it could happen because I've experienced it before. It's been so many times when God told me to do something. And at the time when he told me to do it, I'm like, okay, I'm on it. Like God told me to do it. And then time goes by maybe a day or two. And and that's why when God tells you to do something, you have to do it then before any doubt can creep in. Because when you wait, then it'd be like, okay, did God tell me to do that? Am I making this decision on my own? Am I really supposed to be doing that? What am I doing? Like, you just start doubting yourself. You start doubting God. You start doubting if you hear him. You start fearing if you heard the wrong thing or if you move in the wrong way. You start fearing. And it's because you love God so much that you don't want to make a decision that's, that wasn't his. That You don't want to go out of his way. And so the devil plays on that. And he like, yeah, you're going the wrong way. You're going out of his way. He didn't tell you to do that. You told yourself to do that. Don't do that. <laughs> and God told you. He's pushing you to do it. He's clearing. He's making room. Everything makes sense. The reason the, the everything makes sense around you for you to do it is just your mind playing games. I just, I just want to bring awareness to that because I was experiencing that when I had quit my job. And this was in the time that i um haven't been on here talking to you guys so I, I heard god i said okay i put my two weeks notice in and then in those two weeks of me going there i'm like i'm like why was i trying to quit again like it's like i forgot it's like because i because it wasn't a, it, it wasn't quick and i had still had time there and t days went past i'm like why did i why was i trying to quit People around me was starting to ask me, like, oh, so, so you leaving? Why you leaving? Da, 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 da. And then I'm like, well, I am able to do my schoolwork here. You know, it is another income coming in for me. You know, I'm able to use this check to pay my car note every week. And then I'm able to use my other check to do this and that and that and that and that. And I started, I started weighing, weighing the um, options again. And I started thinking about it again. And I'm like... And again and again and again, like I just kept thinking about it. Every time I went in there, I'm like, I'm like, God, did you really tell me to do this? Like, am I moving out of your way? Is this what you really want for me to do? Because I started trying to use my knowledge of it. I'm like, well, it's all these pros. The only cons is that the days that I'm here is also the days I have to go to school. And because of it, I don't have Sundays off. I only have Saturdays off because I'm at my other job on the other weekdays. And and I'm like, those are the only cons, but I can make it work. I've been making it work this, this long. But God was just telling me, like, no, sit still and ride this out. You got two weeks left. You got a week left now. Just ride this out. Stop doubting. Stop doubting. Like, I did not give you doubt. I did not give you fear keep doing what you're doing this is you're moving the right way you're going to be fine everything is fine there's no reason for you to keep this job that's why i'm getting i'm making you tired i started to feel so tired it's like for three months straight i was doing both jobs and going to school and then out of nowhere I, it all started to just boom on me once at one time and i just started feeling so tired like so tired every day i was feeling so tired and i didn't want to do anything but i still pushed through i still had to keep going i still pray for strength and i pray for motivation but i say all of this to say that that's how the enemy tries to get you when god tells you to do something and you wait a little bit you wait a couple days or however many days and then you start to question and use your worldly your worldly knowledge to try to understand why god would have told you something like that so then you start doubting if god actually told you that because it's not computing in your mind but remember god's mind god's plans for us is way ahead of what we know what we understand we won't understand there's no way to understand because god he he is omniscient so he's everywhere at one time he's in the future he's in the past he's in the present 
he's with us he's with thousands and millions of the people at the same time so he knows he knows he already then planned out our life for us so he knows which way you need to go to avoid what things even if you did get yourself in something even if you did go the wrong not go the wrong way but even if you did step out of his plans for you at one time he always shifts you he always shifts you you might be going here he going he going to move you like a domino piece right back cuz he ain't tell you to do that he ain't tell you to do that so he going to move you right back you ain't got nothing to worry about and that's what i've been trying to remind myself for these past weeks like i don't have anything to worry about i don't have nothing to worry about god is doing it for me he's doing all the heavy lifting all i need to do is just walk like mary mary said I'm walking, I'm walking, I'm walking, I'm walking. <laughs> no, that's my song, though. That is my song. She said, some people say walking takes too long. And then she say, but I say with walking, you can't go wrong. Why should we rush our way through life? No, no, you won't get very far running all the time. Look at me. I'm trying every day. I fall down, make mistakes, get back up, try again. Next time that you see me, I'm walking up. Hey. No, that's that's my song though. That's my song. Mary Mary did that because facts. I will see y'all in another video. I love you. God loves you. And you gonna be good. Take this as an encouraging message. You gonna be good. Everything is going to be fine. Even if you do happen to make a decision that wasn't God's decision, he knows your heart. He knows his plans for you. He knows what can shift you back to where you need to be. You won't take no steps off of your path at all. As long as you keep God first, you keep talking to him, you keep loving him, you keep letting him feed you with his word, with his, his spiritual food, you're going to be fine. He's going to take care of it he's gonna he's gonna take care of you okay period peace and love to you guys guys as i was watching this i just wanted to add one more thing have faith 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 without works is dead okay you cannot say you love god and don't have faith and trust in him so if you're struggling with that i ask that you seek someone that is true in the faith and ask for counsel i ask i say that you pray about it i say that you ask god to help you work on faith so he can give you um some lessons some things some 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 personal everyday lessons to help you learn on your own how to gain faith through what you experience in life or whatever just because that's really the only way that you you will learn how to have faith is if he gives you something that you need to use faith for and that might be hard but I'm telling you you're not gonna get anywhere with god if you don't have faith in him because every time you're gonna be trying to figure it out yourself you're gonna be trying to figure out what you can do to help you instead of letting god help you you have to be totally dependent on god you have to totally surrender your life and be totally dependent on god that's all i'm gonna say peace and love